Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here, weatherweb.net, on Monday the 11th of August. Thanks again for watching. Hope you had a good weekend, despite ex Bertha ripping through the country, according to the press this morning. Of course, what it did was it passed through the country, brought us strong winds and heavy rain to some. Um, interesting few days ahead. Uh, Bertha's still in the North Sea, so going to be bringing uh, some more wind. But uh, I want to concentrate on the outlook uh, for September, October and because now the UK Met Office have released their forecasts through to early January uh, I'm going to show you uh, what that model comes up with too. Now before we get on to that just a reminder that uh, we're raising funds for Macmillan Cancer Relief this month. You know that WeatherWeb is completely free of charge so what I'm asking you to do is to donate uh, any subscription fees you might pay for WeatherWeb to Macmillan. If you've done so already thank you so much we're well on our way towards our second target of £1,500. If you've not given yet Please do so now. The address is on the bottom of the screen here. Just go there to justgiving.com forward slash sailing weather and you can make your donation. Thanks for that. Let's take a look at how things are uh, shaping up today then. Okay, so first up, uh, ECMWF um, for today. Um, now, just bear in mind that uh, these charts are in 24 hour steps. Time is there in the top, just up there, look and uh, as I knock it on watch what happens there's our area of low pressure today uh, let's just drag that down a little bit there we go there's our area of low pressure today uh, you'll notice how that over the next few days clears off towards the east we then get this ridge uh, building in from the Atlantic but uh, notice this trough that's centered out towards the uh, west by Friday and then as we just continue to knock through uh, you'll notice how the, that system stays out in the Atlantic but there is a secondary trough here which look, comes in over the top well actually that's the main trough that comes in uh, across the top there look and then manages to get back into the UK after a brief ridge of high pressure builds through the UK at the weekend and manages to slip southwards into the North Sea. Now one of the problems is that when you get a trough position like this with a northerly feed coming down what it tends to do is to hang around for some time and uh, as I just knock on you'll notice here look how it does hang around for some time that's the chart for the 21st of August ECMWF sort of keeping it in place here off the northeastern parts of the country. Look at the ridge uh, building out towards the west here this is the thing that uh, that we're interested in this ridge building its way eastwards is this my 20th ridge? I think it might be you know uh, so if, I'm still going to stick with these dates. I'm still going 20th. Okay, still going to hold on for that for an improvement. Perhaps it might be a little bit later. But what you tend to find is as you get close to these dates, the models chop and change as to when they see the ridge building. But to me, this uh, looks like a, a proper ridge build with a flow coming in like so. The ridge will build its way in here. This uh, feature here, this trough that you see here, will buckle, I think, back. Uh, eastward so we'll probably get a pattern like that establishing uh, across the country so we'll have low pressure down here it does bring the threat of some showers here across East Anglia in the southeast after the 20th but with high pressure in for most I think it should be um, better conditions of course lots lots can happen before then uh, notably uh, hurricanes can certainly get in the way. Right, now, um, the other thing I wanted to show you as well is the Met Office have updated their guidance uh, through autumn and into the winter. So, before we get on to that, just a quick look at where the CFS is taking us um, for today. You can get these charts from weatherweb.net. Just go to the top of the page here, click on charts, and then click on the CFS forecast. So this is uh, the latest anomalies forecast for the whole of September. You see what it's trying to do is build a bridge back here in the Atlantic and have this trough down across uh, the east of the UK down into Europe. So we'd have low pressure here, low pressure down here, and basically we'd get a, a northwesterly flow. But it's trying to build in this ridge, trying to say this ridge is there through September, which would bring drier conditions to the south and the west, more and settled towards north. But what it also shows is a screaming jet stream through here. That's a very strong jet that um, it's trying to predict as a mean through September. So we'd have to watch northern and western Scotland for uh, being quite wet through those months. Um, 
then for October, the latest ideas from the CFS for October shape up like this. Um, trying to build in a strong ridge across the UK. Look, uh, got the trough out in the Atlantic. Big ridge in here. Trough down through Europe. Very reminiscent pattern to the one that I think will establish at the end of August. So it's still trying to go for these drier, warmer, fine conditions through October. So just bear that in mind in a mo um, as we look at what the Met Office is going for. So I have to say, Met Office long range model, not my favorite. Um, I don't have a huge amount of faith in it, but it has been updated. So let's have a look at what it says. These are the percentage probabilities of um, events occurring. So this is the percentage probability of above normal uh, temperatures during September, October and November. During those three months, overall remember, it's not warm all the way through, it's overall. And uh, it's showing us here, look, uh, across the UK, a 40 to 80% chance of above normal temperatures. Um, if you just scroll down the page here, um, it's really going for completely the opposite, below normal temperatures. It's going for a less than 20% risk of below normal temperatures. So heavily in this warm category uh, for those three months. In terms of rainfall, um, it sees a 40 to 60%. That's the yellow here you can see. It sees a 40 to 60% risk of above normal rainfall across parts of northern and western parts of the UK. Keeps it near normal uh, elsewhere. And uh, you see the other possibilities, near normal and below normal, are coming in at uh, between 10 and 40%. So it's seeing a warmer, slightly damper uh, than normal September, October, November. For October, November, December, it's going for warm again. Uh, we've got the probabilities here 40 to 70% of warmer conditions. Um, rainfall wise, well, it says warm, but it also says wet or, or wetter than normal. It's going for 40 to 60% chance. Through November, December, January, um, so getting into the winter months here now, it goes for a high probability again of warmer than normal conditions. And it goes for a high probability of wetter than normal conditions too. And interestingly, this is how it sees the 500 millibar heights. What it's trying to do here is to say that uh, heights of below normal levels within this zone here at 40 to 60 percent. So it's trying basically to get the jet stream through. Uh, that's what it's trying to do, is to say the jet stream is going to be screaming through, so it's going for uh, more unsettled conditions. I've got to say, I'm not convinced. Uh, I just, I don't like the, the, the UK Met Office long range model, but it just doesn't seem to, uh, to perform um, to how I expect it to. It is doing it in three month steps, so you do have to cut it some slack, um, but I'm not sure that's the way things are going to go. Um, I think that uh, the one that we have to go with really is the uh, CFS ideas here of this strong ridge build, I think, through October, and it's always shown this idea of high pressure dominating. So I'm going to leave you with that for now, but uh, whatever you're doing today, thanks again for watching. Don't forget our campaign for Macmillan Cancer Relief. If you've not given yet, please, please, please do so now. We've raised uh, £1,200 plus now, and you'll see those figures hopefully build through the day. We're on target for £1,500. So whatever you're doing today, please tell your friends about the website here. Go to come and watch the video, and have a great day, and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.